Hey, it's Joel. You know, I like jam. Jam on toast is, is wonderful, but jams aren't good in traffic. <laughs> and jams are not good when it comes to 3D printing. And unfortunately, we've encountered a jam, a jam in this. This is the hot end of the FunMat HT Enhanced. We've got a jam, we need to investigate it, and we may need to solve the problem with a little bit of help from our friend, Fire. And we're gonna do it right here on Ah, there you are. We've been watching a lot of good eats here during Christmas break and you know, Alton Brown, he's a wonderful human. He makes tasty things and I thought I'd give his intro a try. Let's break this open. So this, uh, this is the hot end right here and we just, let's see, everything in here. There we go. So I was able to undo that nozzle. Oh, <laughs> can you see that? You see it right there. Here, let's Let's take this out. Rotating the heat break out of the heater block. This, <laughs> this, this is carbon fiber peak. The uh, carbon fiber being chopped carbon fiber and peak being polyethyl ketone. It's a wonderful material. It's strong. It's uh, incredibly wear resistant, incredibly heat resistant. And apparently when it jams in your heat break, you're in for a world of hurt. So what we need to do is clear that. But first let's explore this material because it's way different than PLA. So here's our friend, Mini Joel. This is in just uh, some PLA. And I've got this, a blowtorch next to me. What we should do is see the PLA fail pretty quickly. Here we go. As you can see, it's dripping, it's melting, it's, uh... <laughs> I wish you could see the backside here. Okay, we've got uh, a failure in the PLA. Uh... <laughs> Look at that. Uh, it's gonna be hot, but let's see if we can't turn that around. Ooh. Ah, ow, ow, geez. So as you can see, there was very little time uh, for that PLA to resist the heat. PLA is known for melting pretty early on. I don't like melting my mini joels, but there's a purpose behind that. So if we put that mini joel off to the side, this mini joel right here, this is in carbon fiber peak. This is the same material that is, uh, well, it's welded <laughs> inside of my heat break. Just to show you the difference in temperature resistance. I've got my flame here, flame on. Flame on! Whoa! I'm on fire! Oh, yeah. Here we go. So you can see the material is not just resistive to burning, it's resistive to melting, and it can withstand high temperatures at incredibly, uh, at, at in, well, incredibly high temperatures, they can withstand it. So the material itself, it's, it's self-extinguishing. Uh, you maintain some structural integrity. It didn't just melt away. It's kind of, it's kind of, well, it, <laughs> it's like ash, but it burned in place. And if you take a look at that compared to the PLA Joel, Mini Joel, then you can see how different this material performs. And the reason that this is important is because when you have something like this, something like this, in order to pull it out, you're gonna have to use a lot of heat. And thankfully we have a lot of heat. So what I wanna do is set this up so that I have a little push rod right here. And that push rod, I will push up here as I'm applying some flame right here and it should push this out. Uh, I know I could use a heat gun. I don't know if the heat gun would get hot enough. And I've seen videos from Vision Miner where they've used a flame to get some things out. Uh, you've also seen us uh, with some uh, flame in a previous video. So what I'm gonna do is use the flame to heat right here. And then I'm gonna put some pressure from down below. And hopefully it'll pop out that CF peak plug. Let's see what happens. Here we go. We've got it set up. This is the little, this is the heat break right here where it's got a clog. Here's the CF peak coming out. This is my 
little push rod. The idea is I'm gonna heat this part of the heat break up using flame, and then <laughs> we'll see if it we'll see if it works. I do have a fire extinguisher and active fire suppression standing by. So again, I'm being as safe as I can be, relatively speaking. Kids don't try this at home. Did you see that? No way. No way, look at that. Look at that, it's clear. I cleared the jam. It just kind of popped right out. Let's see, here it is. That was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was amazing. I did not expect that. Not one bit. Let's see. This can go back on. So the way that this, uh, this hot end works is two screws go in here and then they attach to the, the block right here, which means that you have to then put in your nozzle and then you tighten the nozzle against the heat break and Bob's your uncle. There we go. Well, that was fun. This, this is gonna be a really quick episode, but I had to get this done because I've got a really cool project set to print on that and that, that's in another episode. So thanks for watching. Always be careful at home. Don't forget, uh, I hope you have an amazing new year because I think this is airing in the first part of 2020. And uh, don't forget to hug each other more. I love you all. As always, high five.